no one here. Now get on top of the hourglass. Your father's army sacked your palace, captured you as a slave. What? You have every reason to hate me. What are you talking about? Now you want me to trust you. Go on. There's no time. Ah! faced my enemy. I had looked into his eyes, and I had lost everything. A tomb. You were there. The dagger was in your hand. Why did you hesitate? You think you're cleverer than everybody, but you're just like the rest of them. Those soldiers, all they can do is fight, destroy. Why did I trust you? Why didn't you trust me? <laughs> oh. Sorry. Where are you? I'm right here. Hold my hand. Don't let go. I didn't mean what I said. No, you're right. All that's happened is my doing. I wanted honor and glory. I brought this on us. You are brave and good. If this tomb is to be ours, at least the dagger will be buried with us. And we are together. What is it? Nothing. You're trembling. I just don't like close spaces. There must be some way out of here. When I was small, my mother taught me a secret word. She said that when I was afraid, all I had to do was speak that word, and a magic door would open. I've never told that to anybody. I can see why. It's the most childish thing I've ever heard of. What was the word? Kakolukiam. Kakolukiam. You did that, didn't you? Farah? Isn't what beautiful? Where are you?
If only we could stay here. What are you doing? What the? Vera, where are you? Vera? If only we could stay here. Where are you? Take me in your arms. I don't see you. What the... All right, this is getting ridiculous. Para? Just take me in your arms. Why do you act so distant? Was it real, that magical cavern? If it was a dream, then it was a dream we both shared. I know it was.
Done. I'll start the story from here next time. That didn't happen. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Wait. Huh? <laughs> 
done. I'll start the story from here next time. No, 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 that...
done. I'll start the story from here next time. Bravely I had fought and slain my enemies. Honor and glory were mine. But though I fight until the desert sands themselves were red with blood, I could not bring back the dead. No. The girl is unimportant. No! Give me the dagger, and I will give you power. Eternal life will be yours. Live forever, and those I loved are dead, and I to blame. I choose death. Do not be afraid. This belongs to you. The dagger of time. But it is locked away within my father's treasure vault. How Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down. And I will tell you the tale like none that you have ever heard. No first. I am the son. And that is why I have come. To warn you and your father to arrest this treacherous vizier before he betrays you and brings ruin on us all. His signal is a flaming arrow shot into the air. Prevent him, and my father's army will know the traitor has been unmasked. They will turn back. A wild tale indeed. I have a simpler version. A Persian soldier lusting for glory entered the chambers of the Maharaja's daughter and was slain by me. Your Highness, for your own safety, I suggest you flee. I will handle this intruder. Matrudeva Is no story. It happened. I mean, oh, it will happen.
Shall I go on? Your exertions are most amusing. Let him be brought before my father. He will judge. Vizier, I have commanded you to stop. Do you disobey? I've taken orders long enough from a senile fool and sniveling brat. Your father was a great warrior in his youth. So many not take after him. Then again, perhaps father and son are alike. Good Did you really think you could defeat me? Careful! Don't tire yourself. He must be a party. Was a traitor. Take this. Return it to your father's treasure vault. Guard it well. I owe you thanks. But why did you invent such a fantastic story? Do you think me a child that I would believe such nonsense? <gasps> I said I owe you thanks. You presume too much. Story. Do you think me a child that I would believe such nonsense? You're right. It was just a story. Wait! I don't even know your name. Just call me Kakulukia. <laughs> 